Eric Ten Hag, was in need of a break for over 90 minutes, but he was unable to acquire one. Scott McTominay's early goal was clearly disregarded. Manchester United made an ineffective effort to win in order to allay rumours regarding their manager's job, huffing and puffing. The United supporters held up a banner that read, Play like you mean it. And although the team gave a hard-working performance, it lacked polish. One that aptly described United's current state, a squad that is merely not good enough, yet continues to play for their manager. But just when it appeared that Ten Hag would cap off a terrible week at Craven Cottage with a very boring goalless draw, his captain, Bruno Fernandes, saved the day with a winner in injury time. It was largely due to the persistence of substitute Facundo Palistri, who in the first minute of extra time tracked down Anthony Robinson near the byline. Tim Ream was the one who hit Palistri with the ball after it got loose. Joao Palhinha was also unable to break the young Uruguayan's hold on it. After running to Fernandez on the box's edge, the ball returned to Pellestri and McTominay. It was a dog's supper for sure. Fernandez eventually regained control of it and fired low toward the bottom corner after twisting this way and that on the box's edge. Despite getting a touch on the ball, Bern Leno was unable to stop it. To celebrate, the United players ran to their supporters. Ten Hag raised his hands in the air on the touchline. Even though it wasn't ideal, he will accept it after a week in which Newcastle and Manchester City humiliated him. In this game, the outcome was more important than the play. However, the Dutchman is aware that his team needs to be far more persuasive. They had that in their previous three victories over Brentford, Sheffield United, and Copenhagen, and they had that again in this pretty insignificant matchup. Harry Maguire, who led the defensive effort after taking an early knock to the head, summed up United's valiant performance. During his first start since mid September, Aaron Wan-Bissaka also made an impression. But you know things aren't going well when your top players are the defenders. Once again, United's passing produced a lot of lovely patterns, but this team consistently lacks creativity and penetration. When Marcus Rashford was sidelined due to a leg injury sustained during training after failing a late fitness test, their already dire situation got even worse. Ten Hag's admission on the eve of this match that Rashford was chastised and had to issue an apology for celebrating his birthday at a city centre nightclub following last Sunday's Manchester Derby defeat raised the possibility that he was benched. The United Chief said, I think we have to close that case. I said everything about it. Although he was travelling with us, he was unable to arrive. He doesn't fit according to our tests. It was another setback Ten Hag could have done without. With Rafael Varane still only fit for the bench and Casemiro out of action for several weeks due to a hamstring issue sustained in the team's miserable midweek Carabao Cup defeat to Newcastle. Juan Bissaka was able to make his first start following an injury, while promising young player Kobi Mainu, who injured his ankle during the pre-season, was back on the bench. Harry Wilson, Rodrigo Muniz, making his Premier League debut, and former United player Andreas Pereira were all called back by Fulham manager Marco Silva. Moments after kickoff, it appeared as though Maguire had confronted Muniz and had accidentally taken a shoulder to the jaw, making things worse for Ten Hag. While Varane warmed up, the England defence required several minutes of attention. Maguire was able to play on, and in the seventh minute, he was part of the major talking point of the first half after United won a free kick near the Fulham goal. Alejandro Ganacho, who replaced Marcus Rashford, drove the ball to the back post, where Christian Eriksen floated it, allowing McTominay, who was unmarked, to side foot home from close range. McTominay spun away to celebrate what would have been his fourth goal for United in five games. But Maguire's participation was already being investigated by VAR. As they collided in the box, Jard Gillett determined 
that the United Defender was offside and had stopped Muniz from reaching Garnaco. After a few minutes of discussion and with Ten Hag biting nervously on his gum, referee John Brooks was told to go to the monitor, and it was immediately apparent that McTominay's effort would not be recognised. There wasn't much more to say about a first half that was subpar. After Andre Onana's score, Harry Wilson and Alex Iwobi launched high shots toward the United supporters, but Diogo Dalot outdid them with an even worse attempt that ballooned into the home end. Fernandez calmly fired another 20-yard attempt into Lino's fingertips. Two minutes before halftime, Fulham had two chances to score. First, Pereira's poor touch in the box allowed Eriksen to recover and block, and then William cut inside to curl a shot just wide of the far post. Early in the second half, the Brazilian was again the target of two counterattacks. However, Juan Bissaka stopped his cutback, and he subsequently missed the mark from a promising position. However, Fulham was playing well, and United found themselves in danger. After Garnacho backed out of a challenge with Iwobi, Onana produced an unusual save to keep out Wilson's long-range shot. A few moments later, the Cameroonian goalkeeper beat away Palhinha's strike. As Anthony had done in the first half, Garnacho was booked for fouling Timothy Castagne after mishandling a clumsy back heel. In the 64th minute, the latter was substituted by Pellistri, following yet another incredibly inefficient performance. Pellistri curled one of his shots towards Leno, Iwobi launched another one high into the seats, and Muniz broke down in tears following his injury. In an attempt to steal the win, Ten Hag brought on Mason Mount and Anthony Marshall, and Leno was eventually forced to make a noteworthy save by pushing away Fernandez's free kick. However, when the United captain applied the crucial finish in additional time, he was unable to deny him once more.